Good morning and welcome to day 15. You're ha more than halfway through now. So give yourself a big round of applause or a pat on the back or do something nice for someone today to celebrate that you've invested some serious time into how you show up as a leader. And today we're gonna to start talking about how you show up as a leader, helping to guide your organizations forward and what your organizations can do um, overall in leadership and how you can help guide that leadership of the organization. So with that, we're gonna dive into workplace needs. Now, these are gonna be crucial because every single human being has workplace needs. And the most common ones are recognition, valued, and safety. And when we hear them in everyday life, they sound more like, I need to be seen, heard, valued, and safe. And that recognition piece may come in very different forms. We've often heard of love languages. So it may be a gift. It may be quality time. It may be um, acts of kindness, things like that. But we want to make sure that that recognition is varied throughout our organization, that we're not trying to put a one size fits all on recognition and that we're actually building it into our culture. The more that we make it easy for people to communicate what they value about somebody else and recognize it either publicly or privately, but make it something that people are getting more and more comfortable with, the more that can be met across an organization proactively, instead of spending so much energy from our individual managers, um, because when we have peers recognizing too, because we make it part of what's going on around people and we step up and do that, they're able to feel really valuable and it helps them show up at their best in the organization. The next with valued, we often hear it about being respected or appreciated or um, being able to really be valued for what you bring to the table. And that's gonna tie into creating some recognition as well as creating really respectful organizations where we help people to get their ideas out there. We help people to be acknowledged and appreciated for what they're contributing to our organization and that we're creating an environment where it's okay to disagree and it's okay to uh, push back or it's okay to have different ideas, but that it's done in a respectful way is going to really help people show up at their best. Then we have safety. Now, safety is a really important one and you might remember Danny talking about Maslow's hierarchy and that's the bottom part of it. For a lot of people and in this case we mean it as it's a physical safety which is often met due to OSHA standards if you have an office and things like that but also psychological safety and oftentimes that comes by way of transparency transparency around what's going on in the organization decisions made and pieces like that that help people not feel threatened or distracted about their own safety and right now, we're seeing belonging and community jump to the top of the list too. Normally, it's kind of middle of the pack of kind of the top 10 to 12 workplace needs. But right now, because of the pandemic, because of things going on in the world, we're seeing belonging and community be crucial. So think about how do you still create a sense of belonging and connection and community within your teams and your organizations? And how do you encourage the entire organization to do it when we're at a distance? And, or when we're first back in the office and have to keep physical distance. But the idea is that that belonging and community helps people feel part of something that they're helping to drive forward. And it can be as simple as offering 15 minute coffees the same way you might have bumped into people in the break room previously and or telling them when you have open door policy hours and sending a zoom link out so today i want you to take some time to reflect on how do you feel when your workplace needs are being well met what's the difference when you've been in roles or you've been able to control the environment or contribute to the environment in a way that makes you feel seen heard valued and safe and 
how could you help your organization proactively meet those needs of team members? Think about the environments you create. Think about the culture that you contribute to. Think about guiding some of that cookie cutter approach of trying to make it one size fits all in recognition. And could you change it to give a chance to really actually meet that need for more people? So happy to have you. We're looking forward to seeing you in class on Tuesday.